Good evening, everyone. New at six victory for a University of Cincinnati student accused of sexual assault. A federal appeals court ruled that that student was denied the right to confront his accuser. Nine on your side. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham has the exclusive details on the court's ruling and its potential impact. Craig? Craig and Tanya, as a result of that, the court said that the university should not have suspended the student. The attorney for the accused student says this is the first time an appeals court has ruled that a student has the right to confront the accuser in a college disciplinary hearing. In this case, a UC graduate identified as John Doe said the university denied his right to confront the woman who accused him of sexually assaulting her. The alleged victim, identified as Jane Rowe, did not appear at the hearing and was not available through a conference call or remote video. The UC disciplinary panel hearing the case relied primarily on her written statement. He was fighting against a piece of paper. Attorney Joshua Engel represents the accused UC student, identified as John Doe. The accused, the graduate student, never had an opportunity to ask questions of his accuser. And if he had been given that opportunity to ask questions, he might have been able to point out inconsistencies in her story or possible bad motives. In today's ruling, the U.S. Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals found that the University of Cincinnati's disciplinary panel decided the accused's fate without seeing or hearing from Jane Rowe at all. That is disturbing, the judges said, and in this case, a denial of due process. The judges also added that failure to confront any form of confrontation of the accuser is fundamentally unfair. Joshua Engel expects the ruling to have a broader impact on the way colleges and universities discipline students. It's the first time that a court of appeals has said that there is a right to confront your accuser in important disciplinary cases in schools. I don't think Tyler had the right to face me. Former UC student Jennifer Showey said she was sexually assaulted by another ex-student named Tyler Gishel. Gishel said the sex was consensual. Showey says that the accused should not be able to confront his accuser during a university code of discipline hearing. It makes us feel so violated all over again. Jennifer Showey and Tyler Gishel are both suing UC, claiming the university violated their rights to due process during the handling of their case. UC declined to comment on that case. 20 minutes ago, we received a statement from UC about the appeals court ruling in a different case. UC says it is reviewing that decision, and UC emphasized that its commitment to providing the best environment for all students transcends everyone on campus, and that it's committed to creating a culture that values consent. And I might add that the student who was disciplined in that case was suspended, but they got to stay, and that student has remained on campus and has not been suspended. Back to you.